Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is James. If you haven't been here before, this is where I talk about absolutely everything to do with research. Please like and subscribe. Imagine, if you will, that there are, I don't know, seven or eight different skills that you need to be a fantastic researcher. These would be the ability to collect data, to interpret it, to read the literature, to write, to analyze data, to present your work, to collaborate, etc., etc. You know, these kinds of things. It'll vary depending on what your individual research agenda is. But imagine that we could scale each of those so that the global average scaled to one. So for each of these, a person that was perfectly on the global average scored one for every one of those seven or eight or ten different skills. If you were 10% better than the global average, you get 1.1 as a score for that. If you're 10% below for that skill, you get a score of 0.9. These skills then are multiplicative. So one by one by one by one by one by one equals one. If you are the global average for all of these skills, then you are the global average, you'd get a score of one in total as it comes out. Now, please don't write to me and say there's a problem with my mathematics. I understand that. This is not a model that has been rigorously developed by looking at millions and millions of researchers and interviewing them all and trying to figure out their skill levels and what the global average is and how to normalize that. None of this, none of this. It's just a lens through which you might think about your own career and perhaps this might help you. Now, you work really, really hard at eight skills and you develop in such a way that you are 10% above the global average for every single one of those eight. And the fact that we multiply them together means that 1.1 multiplied by 1.1 multiplied by 1.1 all the way, all the way, all the way up along means that when we come to total in the end, your total is 2.14. You're one of the greatest researchers in the entire world by being just 10% better than the global average for all of those skills. That's wonderful. And that's a very, very hopeful kind of way I think of looking at this, a very, very interesting way of looking at that, this trying to make sure that you have no weaknesses and that you have really good strengths broadly across all of the things that you need. But, and here's the but, what if you scored 1.1, not for all eight, but for seven of those skills? And for the eighth one, you just scored 0 0.5. Well, when you do the math, you figure out that because of the weakness in that one skill, you're back down to the global average and you're no longer way up high. All I'm trying to say in this video really is that there's a lot of benefit in trying to evaluate in yourself where your weaknesses are and trying to raise these weaknesses up if you're not particularly good at data analytics and your research involves a lot of data analytics, then that's going to be a problem. If communication is something that you feel that you're quite weak on, then perhaps that's going to mean that even if you do great research, if the communication levels are not there, then that research may not be seen as being as wonderful as, as it really is. Try to focus on not just your strengths, but also your weaknesses Try to eliminate them because there's huge benefit to your strengths when you eliminate your weaknesses. I hope this video has been interesting for you. As I say, please like and subscribe. It really would help to grow this channel and for me to, uh, to make more videos like this. And I shall see you the next time. Thank you.